Thank you for checking out this clip of Black Man Spy. To watch the full episodes, get our newsletter, and more, please subscribe to our Substack feed called Special Intelligence at malcolmnance.substack.com. Hi, welcome to another episode of Black Man Spy. I'm Malcolm Nance, and I'm the spy, or I was at one time. First, we're going to run you through this week's situation report. The notable things that are happening these days are, one, the criminal indictment of Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, and his head of the foundation that was stealing Ukrainian children, shipping them off to Russia. And in fact, the head of his organization went on television and said she herself had taken a Ukrainian child and had bought her into her family. This has led to the indictments by the International Criminal Court in The Hague, and Vladimir Putin now has an international arrest warrant out for his arrest. And what does that mean? Does that mean someone's gonna go in there in a commando mission and drag him out? Not at all. But what it means is that people, with the exception of Chinese President Xi, who is on a three-day visit to Russia right now, are probably not gonna wanna sit around and shake the hands of a person who might be arrested if he ever leaves the, the confines of Russia. The second most earth-shattering news of the week is domestic. Donald Trump is likely to be indicted this week and most likely going to be arrested after his indictment is passed. Uh, New York City, federal, state, and law enforcement have already started taking measures to make sure that violence doesn't occur and that protests are corralled in New York City. Donald Trump himself last Saturday put out a tweet saying he was likely to be arrested on Tuesday. But I don't think it's going to happen on Tuesday. It'll happen further in a week. You'll probably know about it well before our next podcast. Now, why are these things significant, Malcolm? Well, they're very significant because the two walls that are holding up democracy, the Eastern Wall in Ukraine and the Western Wall in the United States, are finally seeing some justice for this attack against what is arguably the only system of governance that is keeping people free and is not devolving into dictatorship and totalitarianism, both of which are philosophies Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump love and embrace. So we're dodging a bullet this week. We'll see what happens next week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like our YouTube channel and please subscribe to our Substack feed at malcolmnance.substack.com.